Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this exercise, we are going to develop country piano techniques which can be very useful for not just country, also to play folk music, gospel music, some traditional stuff uh, which you would find out there. And the, the technique basically will involve what we call as walking up or walking down. That's what it's kind of officially called and it makes a very simple chord progression something like or a chord pattern something like this which sounds very popish or very standard you know and the technique which I teach you will make it go from there to something more country So we are going to go in a very sequential manner. I'm first going to talk about the scale, the essential theory, how we are building this technique, the chords, the notes of each chord and all the notation and my handwritten notes will be available and waiting for you on our Patreon page. So if you'd like to pause the video and get yourselves a copy, that'll be awesome. It'll also support our channel uh, or else you can just follow along with the lesson. And before I start, it'll be awesome if you haven't already, do consider hitting that subscribe button and there's a bell somewhere there it'll be nice if you can ring the bell so let's get cracking so the way I approach the intro of the song very similar to Nora Jones's Turn Me On and so many other country gospel songs you'll be able to play so many songs with this technique all you need to do is know the one chord, the four chord and the five chord of your respective scale. And just for making the lesson more interesting, I'm going to take a scale which is not C major as most of the tutorials tend to do. So we'll try and take B flat major. So B flat major has two flats, namely B flat and E flat. So what's the scale? B flat C D E flat F G A B flat coming down B flat A G F E flat D C B flat. Now the one chord built out of the one, the four chord built out of the fourth degree, then the five chord are all going to be major chords in the major scale as the rules of chord theory are. One, four, five is major. So you have B flat major. E flat major and F major which is your 1, your 4 and your 5. So the progression we'll deal with now just so that we can get the 1, 4, 5 chords uh, going together will be 1, 4, 1, 5. So that will be B flat, E flat, B flat, F. One more time, B flat, E flat, B flat, F. So you could play this progression however you wish. The traditional patterns could be maybe four hits per chord. Stuff like this. And I'm also playing some nice inversions in the right hand to make the shifting process a lot easier. You could also do arpeggios. But this exercise will involve a very traditional country walk up, walk down routine over the same chord progression, one, four, one, five. And to make it very old school country, let's do it in three, four, which is the wa a waltz kind of time signature. So you're gonna want to count one, two, three, 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 one two, three, the, and try to count it the way I'm saying it. One, with some emphasis, two, three, three to drag back to the next one. So one, two, three, one, two, and we are doing three with some swing or you can straight it. So by swing and straight, I mean how you're subdividing. So you could go one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two a three, a one and two and three, which makes it very swing. Or you could go one and two and three and one and two and three, which is make, makes it more straight, very folk, very perhaps even rock-like in nature. So the, the feel of swing versus straight will sound like this. While straight would be and so on. So we'll start in a very sequential manner. First, we'll begin with the bass, the left hand, and here's what you do. 
So what am I doing there? I'm doing root of the scale. Climb to the four of the scale, which is E flat. Climb down to the root of the scale, which brings us back to B flat. Root to the lower fifth, which is F. F to the root. Root to the fourth. It's important to know these intervals as later on, in your own journey you can transpose this to other scales so root so the roots of the chords are going to be emphasized by playing them as dotted minims that would be three counts each so it goes one two three one two three one two three one two three one, two, three, one. so the climbing notes would be the same root of that chord but then it's almost like a ladder how do i go from b flat to e flat safely well, it has to thus most likely be diatonic, which is within the scale. So the diatonic ladder-like motion or the climbing stepwise motion would be B flat, C, D, E flat because B and C sharp are not part of the scale. So B flat, C, D, E flat. So we are counting it as dotted minim or three counts. One, two, three. One, two, three. If, if you'd like, you can lift your hand at the three. One, two, 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 three. So first off, we're going from the one to the four. That journey would be one, two, three. One, two, the fourth. Now we do the climb down motion, ladder down, which is four down to one. Again, we wait on the one for the, the dotted minimum and then one down to five. For variety, we are just going down to five. So up to the four, down to the one, down to the five. And now b back to the one. The whole story. One, one, two, the four chord E flat. So if I just play the chords in the right hand to showcase this journey. Two, three, one, two, three. E flat has now come in. One, two, three. Back to B flat. Five chord. Mm, mm, mm. Back to B flat. Mm, two, three. E flat. One, two, three. One. Back to B flat. One, two, five. Back to the one. And then we loop it. So the country technique will now be you play B flat here as always, the same, the same line in the bass, and you harmonize it in the right hand with what we call as upper thirds, or you can just say thirds. So you take B flat, its diatonic third would be the D. So you build this kind of set of thirds, which are all diatonic. So anytime you see B flat there, I want you to whack D. Anytime you see C there, you whack E flat. Anytime you whack D, you whack F. Anytime you play E flat, you whack G. And what's nice is you can see the chart we have for you, which shows you pretty much all the thirds and also the shapes of the thirds. Shapes are nothing but is it uh, white to black? Is it black to white? Is it white white or is it black black? Basically, all those permutations visually, it will be very easy for you to imagine the interval or imagine the combo of notes and then play it. Okay, so now we add the thirds to our normal bass line which we developed earlier. So that will go one, two, three, one. And watch my fingers in my right hand. I'm doing thumb, middle, crossing, and then index. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Coming down. One, two, three. 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 Two, three. One, two, three. You can already make it a little country by sneaking in this. Uh, can glide to the D if you can then instead of just going to G you can do 
if you are not getting it nicely enough or confidently enough don't bother so 2 3 4 coming down there we go back to the 5 up to the e flat back to b flat which is the root and remember we are keeping that waltz 3 by 4 going so 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 bother so much about fingering because the next techniques are anyways going to force one or two notes to be tied up to one or two fingers so let's move forward so the next addition to this country walk up walk down technique would then be to add the root so that's b flat the root of the scale not the root of the chord so you're doing b flat with well you could do you could do the root in both hands i'm just going to do it in one hand for now the right hand up top not here here so what's the root of b flat major b flat so 2 3 4 pretty much every note you're going to play in the lick or in this run or this climbing technique will be complemented by the root note on the top 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 and now when i drop down to the f because i'm approaching the f and also my hands are going to get very very stretched out i'm going to choose another anchor note so these anchor notes as i'm calling them are the root of the scale and the fifth of the scale so you could use either of them to kind of thicken or enrich this particular uh, bass movement so i'm using the root up to the 4 i'm still keeping the root because i'm going and now when i go down to the 5 i'm uh, adding the fifth of the scale which is f which is easy on the fingers and also a much more pleasant sound than retaining retaining the root for that a because for the 5 chord when you land there might as well play the 5 of the b flat scale so follow 2 3 the pretty much the same third movement going on except for that additional note on the top register of the performance 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 you want to cross up cross down your fingers and then to allow you to keep f on the bottom and keep the f going as we climb back to the root of the chord so whole story 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 going up one back to the b flat mm, 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 four back to the one tera ru okay so now the next variation or the next addition to this whole party would be to add pretty much the same anchor note as what you're doing in the right hand but by playing that anchor note at the subdivisions or at the off beats not at the 1 2 and 3 of the 3 by 4 but at the ends so first off let's look at a straight performance that means 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and where the thumb of the left hand or the topmost voice of the left hand will be playing this upper b flat let me demonstrate and then show you So you have this B flat at every end, one and two and three and 
one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and down one and two and three remember there you have to change your drone or your anchor to f in both hands at the upper register so whole story one and two and three and one and two three one and two down climbing you could also do b flat up here and you could do f here pretty much any of the anchor notes which are b flat and f and 2 and 3 and i quite like that as well straight eights you can also swing it one and two and three and one and two and three swinging and it's just as it's just this one thumb note which is giving you that element of swing or a straight feel because that's the only note are the only finger playing a note which is in a subdivision the rest are all 1 2 3 1 2 all are on the beat right 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and ta na ta 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 down ta 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 pa 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 so that's pretty much the technique guys and you can use it for well a turn me on would work good you can use it for any for a lot of other tunes you can use it for maybe a gospel song like amazing grace amazing grace how sweet the sound you just have to play it around depending on which chord that saved a wretch like me that's f i want was love I went to the four. Now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, 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 maybe an overkill of the technique, but you get the idea. What about something like this? modify the tune or birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you i went to the five by mistake but you get the idea and yeah you can do it with maybe folk songs gospel songs as i showed you rhymes explore the technique and you could also just try to sing your own uh, melody as you walk up or walk down so na 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 oh na 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 ti ru du ru ru ta na na ru ta na no that's the idea behind the technique it's just a nice way in a nutshell to kind of describe this when a chord is you know very lazy or very boring you kind of juice it up by pushing it to the next chord so it creates this harmonic movement so harmony is not just the chords it's how you glide or how you move from one chord to the other and that's the beautiful essence of country music and uh folk music in general because they take simple 1 4 and 5 chords and make magic out of that because of these bass movements 
and in a way even blues music has a lot of this climbing up walking bass even jazz music has it so a lot of these genres rely on the bass to create that movement between the harmony to project the chord a lot better for your brain right and just to conclude the lesson i'd like to just show you a few embellishments which i just keep doing or i keep itching to do i can't help it it just happens so i'll definitely going to walk you all of that that may not be in our notes but the rest of this entire video the notation my handwritten notes planning preparing for this entire activity are all waiting for you as booklets on patreon you'll also get a midi file so you can see the notes using any uh, virtual midi player of your choice so let's get to some embellishments so i'm going so i'm doing this instead of just doing g when i land ba, 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 i'm doing a i can either do a fast glide or a fast grace note as it's called or a slow one i can do so i could do the slow version the fast version or ta da da ta i could do a, a nice turn there a chromatic movement where f and g are ringing but this f sharp is a very sneaky addition it's very soft so 2 3 1 2 3 you barely hear it so you don't want to you don't want to ever highlight that f sharp that will be a counterproductive it thing 2 3 1 2 Three, coming down. Okay, I could do a a little flick of the semitone after G. Mind you, some notes sound a bit awful, but some sound really nice because that note gives you that mixolydian modal change, which is a nice embellishment in your performance. So whole thing. Ba, ba, ba. So. Ba, It's almost very vocal like it's something you would also sing as a singer. That sort of thing. So do it but it's you get the idea tum tum pum pum okay and you can also play a few things staccato and legato that adds to the dynamics you know legato softer maybe staccato lagato things like this will add a lot of impact to the song especially if you're following the lyrics of the song in a very musical way so that's about the lesson guys so this was a country piano exercise to practice walk ups and walk downs on the piano a very common technique used by all instrumentalists not just piano players even guitar players do this stuff a lot and hope you found the lesson useful in the description we leave you some more videos which you could check out around this technique a few more country lessons and for those of you who may not know i release daily riffs on a separate website which allows uh for those of you who don't know i release daily riffs on a separate website even though those are youtube videos we filter them really well with emotion with genre with time signature time feel and a lot of other things so we leave you a link in description to head over right there and listen to some of my country 
gospel compositions which you may find useful or hopefully it will inspire you you can also learn the riffs by going to the end of the video where I played very slowly you can also download backing tracks for each of these riffs MIDI files and all of this will be available waiting for you on the website have fun with the lesson hope you enjoyed it catch you in the next one cheers <laughs>